Arr, mateys! All right, let's go sailing. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to keep that pirate voice up for this entire video, but I will give you the instructions with this hat and with my lovely pirate beard. So, here we go. Let's talk about the pirate project instructions. So, okay, so you've got your project, um, your pirate project slide, okay? This is the, I'll, I'll tell you right now, this is the kind of skeleton okay uh, for the most part it's pretty straightforward okay the the project should be able to uh, take you through most of it all right but I do want to touch on a few things just to elaborate okay um, so first of all you'll have your name your friendly pi your, your fun pirate name um, and okay good I am recording <laughs> I was just making sure uh, so I'm Métis Felony Barnacle your your pirate captain I will say all right um, so yeah, okay, you're gonna create your island, okay? So just to show you guys, uh, you will have this here, okay? Um, now if you notice, you've got, you know, island obstacle one, okay, island obstacle three, right? You're gonna fill in all these, okay? And you got a water obstacle and you got a sea monster, okay? And then you'll name your island, all right? So just every little piece, you know, that you see, you'll, you'll have these little text box. You're gonna, you're gonna name it, right? And then you're gonna insert, insert a picture okay above it all right now you might want to make it small it is a lot um, so you just make sure you have enough space okay what I recommend you do um, there's a few different ways to do this but uh, the best way you know Google images okay let's search like um, I don't know cartoon uh, we'll go Larry the cucumber okay um, hopefully you are got you've gotten the um, you know VeggieTales reference uh, in the instructions on Google Classroom all right, uh, the pirates who don't do anything. So, you know, you could uh, take this image maybe and you'll right click it and then, you know, copy the image, right? And then you could, you know, put it in here. It's gonna be huge, oh, not too big. And you'll just kind of restructure it, okay? And you got Larry the Cucumber maybe, I don't know, as your sea monster or something like that, okay? So you'll be editing this the entire time. Um, make it fun, right? Like. Uh, it's a it's, it's it's designed to be a fun project, right? So get as piratey as you want, or you know uh, you can make it you know any literally anything, okay? Uh, so just to show you mine, okay? So that's my you know first part of the project. Let's let's go and look at this entire thing, because my island's awesome. Of course, Zelda themed. Yes, my favorite. Uh, we've got the pirate, right? It's going to Scurry City. I've got uh, Windfish Egg. I've got. Uh, Skurvo's Secret Cave, Snow Peak, Gang of Pirate Guardians. Yes, I got the Guardians with the pirate hats. Uh, Great Bay, and then Morpha, the little sea monster. Okay, cool. So there's mine. All right, yours can be similar. Okay, uh, let's take you through the rest. So on this piece right here, now is the actual math part. Okay, um, to make it short. Okay, you're gonna put your vectors from the original. Okay, into component form. Now the original. The first part, you're going to be finding these vectors in here, okay? So, you know, this one is, you know, I'll give you this, right? Starting here, right, we're going over one, two, three, and then down one, two, three, okay? So that's going to be negative three, um, comma, negative three as your first one, all right? So I'm, I'm giving you that one, um, but you'll still have to find the magnitude, the direction angle, the quadrant bearing, and then the vector expressed as a linear combination, okay? So in our within our lessons, that's where you'll get that. All right. Uh, other than that, right on this uh, part with the pirate, with, with the parrot. Okay, with the parrot, you're going to find the resultant vector of part one. Right. So you're going to add these rectangular components, and then you're going to put the resultant vector in here. Okay. Uh, now on the on the part three, burying your treasure. So now this one, th there is a little bit of a complicated step. You're going to have to take, you know, your original slide four. You're going to copy it into slide eight. Okay, and then um, then you will use these arrows on the right, and you're going to take them, and you're going to like do this right here. So let's say I wanted to be at this point. Okay, you're going to have that, and let's say I wanted to end here. I don't know over here. Um, there you go. Okay, so you can move these around, um, and it's kind of nice uh, to have have it that way, right? So I mean, literally, your starting point. You're just going to take the, the beginning and then put it there, all right? And you're gonna make a direction, all right? You're gonna make 
you're going to hide a treasure from Scurvy City. So you're going to start here, but you have to avoid the obstacles. Okay, so, you know, if you've got obstacles, you've got to get around it. You've got to find a way to uh, hide your treasure. Okay, and then um, let's see here. Yeah, just make sure to avoid everything. And yeah, oh, you got to have at least five vectors. Okay, at least five vectors here. Uh, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and say exactly five. Exactly five vectors. All right. Um, okay, so you've got your table. All right. Now, this is my entire table filled out, right? So this is the this is the new ones, okay? So, you know, part one is just getting to Scurvy City. Part two is your new treasure that you hit, okay? And here's what I'll say. If you, if you cheat, if you're stealing someone else's treasure, you're going to walk the plank, okay? Um, use your own, right? Use your own, all right? Uh, cool. So, moving on here. <clears throat> Rectangular component form. Let's very quickly talk about that. So, 3 comma 7, okay? For my first one, I went over 3 and then up 7. Quickly, as a reminder of how to uh, get all this information, okay? I'm going to show you that here. So here's my first vector, 3 comma 7. I'm going to work in here. I've got 3 squared plus 7 squared equals C squared. Th Pythagorean theorem, right, to find my magnitude, okay? So I got my magnitude is 7.6. Again, that's just the distance, okay? That's the distance of the vector. So that's why we can use the Pythagorean theorem. All right, from here, okay, let's zoom in. All right. In order to find that angle, right, I've got my three, okay, three, seven. You're going to need to make a right triangle with the coordinates and with your, uh, you know, uh, your x, y coordinate plane. All right. So we've got that here. Uh, and then from here, we've got tangent of x. Okay. That angle, that's the angle I'm trying to find. Just this one right here. Okay. Let's zoom in even further. All right. This angle here. Right? I've got my opposite of 7, right? your O opposite, over the adjacent. So tangent of x is equal to uh, 7 over 3. Therefore, we've got to use inverse tangent to solve. I'm going to get that this angle is 67 from that. Okay, So 67 here. But the 67 is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my... Sorry, I'm trying to be quick with this. The uh, direction angle, okay? Now, actually, the direction angle, this is an example where, you know, it is that angle, okay? The direction angle always starts with your positive x-axis and goes counterclockwise. So that one works already for this one. But converting to my, you know, quadrant bearing, okay? And then converting to uh, the linear combinations easy. But the quadrant bearing, okay? So the quadrant bearing, you're going to start at your either your north or south, and you're going to move east. So I've got to convert each of these, okay? So I've got... Or, sorry, I should say that you move east east or west from there. I've got a video. You, hopefully, you have the video on quadrant bearing already. Okay? Um, but on this particular one, you know, this is the 67. So, for my quadrant bearing, I'm going to need to start up north. So, I've got to find the remainder of that, and that was 23. So, I converted it here with the, you know, uh, this is 23 degrees east, right? So, opening here, 23 degrees, tick, 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 23, and then it's uh, from north. So, 23 degrees east of north is what that is. Be careful, uh, you know, if if your angle is in the second quadrant, it's a little bit different, right? Maybe this is your x, so for mine, right, my vector is negative 2 comma 5. Now I'm finding this, okay, but your direction angle comes from here, so I've got to think about how I can find that angle, right? And I'll tell you right now, if it's in the second quadrant, you're going to, you're going to have that angle, and you're going to subtract that angle from 180 to get this, all right? That should take care of it, on the project, I believe, okay, that should get you kick-started. The rest is just the vector stuff. You should be okay um, on the rest. I hope you guys have fun with the project. And uh, Métis Felony Barnacle, I forgot my pirate name. Métis uh, Felony Barnacle is my pirate name, and I hope you enjoyed this project. It should be pretty fun. Make it as creative as possible, you know, and you've got the math in here working with your vectors. You guys take care. Ahoy, mateys. I'm out. <clears throat>